Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're just packing the van. We're about to go away for one night to yay. No, I mean, that's where we're actually going. We're going to yay. All right. <laughs> How exciting. It's only about an hour or so away from where we live, but we thought, because we're only going away for one night, we didn't want to travel too far. And I hear that there's a really cool bike track, not that we're going to be riding, but we're going to do a little bit of a walk on it. And there's a few other things to check out. So I'm going to pack the fridge and get on the road. Van's packed. Now it's time to hit the road. See, I'm all in the car. I've gone and got petrol. I've gone and blown the tires up. And now I'm here, still waiting for Adam and Twyla. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. So they're waiting. finally here, yay, we can actually go now. Twyla, you ready to go? Twyla. Yeah, and you get no reaction from her. We're going to, yay. So come on, get excited, everyone. You know. smell these. Oh, okay. All right, we let's go. We just arrived in yay. We're just parked in the middle of the street and um, basically we're at the start of it so we're going to head down and take a look at all the shops see if there's any information center to see what there is around to have a look at today and tomorrow and yeah let's go explore yay thing they're not short of in yay that we've worked out so far is cafes and bakeries plenty so as per usual we've stopped off at the information center best place to come to work out what to do in yay so the guys in the information center are really friendly here i've got so much information we're gonna have to i think we're gonna have to come back to be honest because there is so much to look at anyway we're gonna have a look around here have a look at more pamphlets and uh, yeah, start going to explore. And in the information center, they've even got their own cafe and a beautiful spot out so you can sit outside and then you can go, there's all these walks linked up to that you can go on. So this is one full, fully loaded information center. I really love all these vintage bikes that are here today. They're so cool. So we're just here and now we're gonna head to this tunnel because we hear that it looks really cool. So we're gonna go check that out. You ready to go? Is Twyla ready to get? You're not really giving us much loving on this trip. So we've just stopped off at the Great Rail Trail. Um, this goes for miles and miles and miles. You can go along this track on your bike or you can um, walk it. Um, anyway, we're here at a part where you can go through an old, the old train tunnel. Well, it looked really cool. I watched it on a YouTube video. So I thought, hey, well, let's stop down here for lunch and then we'll have a walk through there. So Twyla's dying to get out. She's in here. Twyla! Anyway, she's in there. She's dying to get out. And um, Adam's inside cooking up our Twyla. lunch. You gonna have some lunch? How's that going, Adam? Oh, it's a bit hodgepodge. 
Oh, yum. Best part about having a van. Pull up for lunch. And Twilight is dying to hit that track. We'll get out there soon. Let's just eat first. finish lunch and now we're gonna head out. Twilight, you ready? You ready to go on the trail? Some quick facts to look at before heading down the track. Look, Twilight's not liking the bike riders. Twyla, stop barking at them. Look at this. There is spider webs hanging from the roof. It's quite, it's quite eerie actually. What do you think, Twyla? It was very echoey. You can literally see big lots of spider webs on the roof so I'd hate to imagine how many spiders live in here as you come out the other side this is pretty much what you see and there's a tunnel back there so it's gonna go for a bit of a walk and then go back through there's been so many bikes go past. It's really good seeing all these families and people just, you know, riding through the tunnel. Um, this is a great track if you like bike riding. I don't, I prefer walking, but yeah. yeah. That was fantastic, I really enjoyed that. So definitely recommend coming down and seeing the tunnel. Now we're gonna head back into town and we're gonna probably go find another walk to go on and do some more exploring. We've just headed back to the information center. We're about to go on a walk. It's called the Yay River Waterland Walk. So this looks good. The only thing I'm worried about is more for Twyla's sake because I've just seen a snake sign. It says there's several, lots of different species of snakes that live here. So this will be interesting.
Change of plans, we're at the Country Club Hotel in Yay. It looks amazing out here. Obviously we're in our jackets, so it's a little bit cold, but how beautiful it is. And we've decided, you know what? Stuff cooking tea. We're gonna order some nice steaks and have dinner here. Check this place out, it looks gorgeous. They've got a beautiful wooden fire inside, so if you don't have a dog, go in there and enjoy the fire. But um, for us, I'm liking this. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And not do they just have this part, but they have a whole beer garden. And I can imagine this being amazing in the summer. So you gotta come check these guys out. It's amazing, look at it. Well, we ended up having the Thai chicken salad and it was beautiful. 100% recommend it, absolutely beautiful. The other thing I was gonna go for was the steak, but we're on a keto diet and at the moment, besides the um, wine. Um, so I thought I wouldn't be that bad to get the chips and all the rest of it. So we went the uh, salad and it was to die for. Anyway, we're finished now, we're gonna head back. That was very unexpected, but worth every bit. You all nice and warm? Got the heater on. So we're getting ready to settle in for tonight and I thought what I'll do is I'll take you through how we set up the van to go to bed and just to chill out. Um, very simple, very simple, but I'll take you through it of the couch we put there at the end of the van that's obviously that goes through to the front of the cab but we just put them there i always put twyla's harness here so if we have to go to the bathroom during the night that's ready to go keys are here so then we can lock the van and unlock the van to get out and we have our torch ready to go we always use a sleeping bag each and then we have our pillow and obviously see now that now that you don't see the back in there the bed's a lot bigger so adam's on this side twyla's there she's getting a brush and then we kick back lay against these doors and watch our tv why the head is on of course with our little flags from sydney do you remember that trip that was so cool Anyway, let's settle in for the night and uh, this one is so tired, she is definitely ready for bed. We've left our caravan park and we're down now at the um, 
Railway Reserve Park where you can come down and see the old station. They've got picnic tables, they've got a park, and the track runs through here, the old train track, obviously, because it's a train station. Um, we And um, you can ride your bike through here. And there's play equipment as well for the kids. So nice little place to stop. Um, but we're about to head into town now and go get a nice coffee. And then we might be going to a winery. Before we head off to the winery, we've come back into town. We're going to grab a coffee from one of the cafes that had a sign out yesterday saying they were pet friendly, so we like that. As well, I want to show you guys in the middle of the main street, there is a whole heap of outdoor tables. I don't know if they were here before COVID, um, but they've got a whole heap of them, so you can get food, come in the centre, eat them, and all these trees, all the tables are under these trees back here quite nice and um, you can enjoy some to eat on the way through or if you are visiting even better bottle of their Shiraz it is beautiful it's the same one we had last night with our dinner at the pub and we loved it so much we had some here and brought a bottle to take away so anyway thanks for coming along on this episode do yourself a favor go down the bottom like subscribe and tell everyone about us and we'll see you on the next van life adventure <laughs>